Okay, I am beginning. Put my canvas the size I want. Maybe a little wider. I'm also using my iPad. I think I'm going to have it like a my canvas like a rectangular like they had the picture the picture is like a rectangular shape so I'm going to have the canvas a rectangular shape um, let's start with the green grass up I click my brush as you can see and I'm going over here my marker this is like trial and error I'm going to start with the green grass okay so we got some green right here but I want a little bit darker so I click on my color I'm going to make the grass a little bit, maybe it's a little bit lighter than that. Ooh. I'll try this shade. Now, let's see what brush I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and try the marker. I have the image of the picture I just showed you that the photographer took, the archaeologist, on my iPad. So I'm looking at my iPad. My iPad is in my lap. So I'm going to start with some green grass. Okay, this is trial, and error. Okay, let's see how this is going to turn out with some green grass. And now I want some brown. We have we have some dark dark brown. Look like grass, but it could be dirt. So I'm going to put some brown in here. Still using my marker. Still using my marker. I know something. Guess what? I need to close this in. I'm going to close this in. This has to be closed in in order for my paint, my can of paint to cover the parts that I want to cover in. I want to cover in 
some of the brown. I'm going to cover in some of the brown with my paint, okay. I'm clicking on, see over here. I'm clicking on my paintbrush. See right there, that's my paintbrush. So I click on that. And I want to color in, but it covered the whole thing. I don't want the whole thing covered in. So, I'm going to click on up here. See up here where I put the marker? Up here. I'm going to click undo. Let's put in some more. Um, let's try the other brush. I'm going to try the calligraphy pen, pen with the grass and see if that's a little bit better. Okay, I'm using the calligraphy pen this time. But you see how that works? But that's too, that's too thick. So over here, Over here, I have to thin it down. See where my mark is? I have to thin it down because it's too thick. Because like the thin brush is too thick. You see how that is. This is trial and error. I don't know how long this is gonna take me, but I want it right, so if I don't finish it tonight, then I will finish it I'm gonna put a little gray in here on this brown. I'm gonna put a little gray. I'm gonna put a little gray in here on this brown. One thing about using digital paint, well, you can go over if you mess up, if you think you mess up and do touch ups. And this grass is not how I want it. Let's see. I'm using the calligraphy pen. Okay, okay, that looks a little bit better, I think. a little bit better. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay, I need some more green grass over here. I'm a self-taught artist, so some of my artist language might not be as an artist who went to school for art, but you can still study online as well.
have some more green grass going down this way. Okay, we got some. We'll put some. Um, I'll mix some dark brown. See here, I'm mixing the brown. Okay. This is the color right here, but I need to I need to change the color. So I want to want to try. This is the color. Sorry. Over here. Over here. Over here, see where my mouse is. Right here is a color, and I clicked on it because I want to change it. Okay, I want to change it. Okay, I got, I got this color brown right here, so I'm going to use that color brown. That might be better than uh, mixing that gray and brown that I mix. Let's try this. Okay. Let's see, you notice with the calligraphy pen, the brush is a little bit different than the marker, as you can see. This is trial and error. Okay. While it's up here, this has to be filled in because I need to put I need to put some color in here. This has to be filled in. Got one back to my green. Okay. In order for me to fill it in with my paint. Because is the grass the grass is um there's some open spaces in this picture that looks brown okay you can see that's a darker brown so I'm not going to keep that. I'm going to change that. Okay, now I'm gonna try to fill in this with my paint. See the open spaces? I'm going to my paint can as I showed you and try to fill it in. Okay, try to use a lighter brown than what I've just been using. See if it'll go in. See, I'm gonna try to fill it in. It filled in. Okay. So far, it looks like it's coming along pretty good. Uh, 
Come back on, back up to my marker. This is a little bit too dark. Really, I should have had it thinner, the marker thinner. This here, right here, see what this line is right here? This is how you change the thickness. See, that thickens it, that thins it. I need it a little bit, I need it thinner than what I had it. Now, I'm going to outline. It's some brown in here, so I'm going to outline. I'm going to outline. Looks like heels. And I'm going to use the pencil. I'm using the pencil. This right here, that's the pencil right here, that's the pencil. I'm going to use the pencil and I'm going to outline. Okay. This is the ground. This is the ground. I'm outlining. And then I go back and fill in. Okay. So I'm gonna put some brown in there. I'm gonna put some light brown. Or beige. I think I'm gonna put some beige, beige color. Use my paint to fill it in. But it filled up the whole thing. I don't want the whole thing filled up. And I need it a little bit. It's too light. I need a little bit darker. I mean, it's too dark, I need a little bit lighter. A lighter, yeah. Uh, now I'm gonna use my paint. This is trial and error, like I said. Okay, this time it filled up. I was able to fill it in. Okay. I'm gonna go towards making the tomb. So I'm going to go up here to these shapes and use the circle, the 2D shapes have circles, squares, triangles, stars, I'm using the circle where you see the blue at, that's what I'm using to make the tool, the round large tool. You see? Okay, we're gonna bring this down some. And we're gonna bring it down here. We'll bring it here. Maybe a little bit larger. This will be like the tomb rolled away. The stone rolled from the tomb and it's going to be brown. Maybe a little bit of light brown, maybe a beige. Okay. I'll leave it as that. Then I'm gonna go back in color. I put it as a beige, the stone as a beige. And I'm gonna go back and color it too. Okay, I'm gonna fill in this. This right here, I'm gonna fill it in with my paint. Okay. 
okay let's see what color is going to come out to see that's what it looks like okay i'm going to leave it like that and i'm going to use i'm going to use my spray can that's my spray can. I'm going to click on it. See where the blue came in? I clicked on it. Okay, and then I'm going to go around the edges of this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go around the edges a little bit. I'll put some white. I'm going to go around the edges a little bit. See, this is how that... um. This spray can but it's a little bit too thick so I'm going to bend it remember how I showed you how I moved that little cursor in or whatever that is okay, I'll put a little white around here okay a little more white around Okay. I need to put like a little line, like a little dark line. I'm gonna use the marker. It's like a little. It's like a little black line. This little line right here. Some little lines in the stone. A little line over there. And some patches of some patches of brown. I'll put some patches of brown. I'm going to use the uh, spray can. Put some patches of brown. In a way, it's, um, I'm going to use gold color and lighten it up and go over that. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, now, going up to my two, then I'm going to pick a square-like shape for the door that the tomb came out of. Okay, this is going to be the door right here. 
this is going to be the door. Make it a little bit lower, a little bit wider. And it's going to be flat. And inside here, inside here, I'm going to fill it with my can. I got my can. I'm going to fill it in. Okay. Now let's finish outlining the tool. Okay, let's finish. I'm going to use a brown color. Since it's got like a lot of light browns and I'm going to outline. I want to use the marker. Let's try the calligraphy pen. I'm just doing a lot of outline. Then I'm going to go back and um, shade it in with different colors. I'm just doing a lot of outline right now. Then I'm going to go back and shade it in. Okay. I see a little rock here. So what I'm going to do is, okay, I see like a little rock here. Okay, and I'm going to put that brown, outline that brown. Okay, so right now, okay, then I can go ahead and I'm going to use my, um, Spray can. Okay. I think I'm going to outline. So you can go back and with the spray can, click right on where you want the color to change. I want to change that to a, a, a gray. I changed that to a gray. Now I'm going to my spray can and put some beige rock color. Let me try to. Okay, I need to. say this is trial and error. This is my spray can. Okay. Some mark, I'm gonna fill this in. Okay.
I filled all that in with a gray color because I'm going to have to go back and um, go back I'm using my spray can and go back again where I had Okay, we're going back again. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to show you right now, and I'm going to finish it. So, I hope you got something out of this um, drawing. This is trial and error. Okay.